Seattle has been called many things, a shining beacon on the bay, just two years ago, a star civic example for diversity in leadership. And women who know how to get the job done. It's really amazing to see elected officials, to see women in power, and to see really women leading and leading Seattle. And it's pretty awesome to be a part of that. Five women blew up former norms regarding race, gender, and sexual orientation. At the end of the day, it's not really it's about coming out. It's about talking about your life. And now three of them are either gone or have announced their departure. A fourth, King County Sheriff Mitzi Johanknik faces an uncertain future after voters approved changing her role from an elected to appointed position. What do you think it says about Seattle and King County? The thing that I think hope there's some introspection on is, is, is the tenor of our political um, debate in the last year, particularly. Seattle Mayor Jenny Durkin has announced she will not seek re-election. I do think that, you know, women still are treated very differently, both when they run for offices and when they hold offices. Um, the, the coverage is different. You can have disagreements with other people, but instead of being called disagreements, you clash with people or fight with people. Um, and I think there's just a, there should be a different level of scrutiny on ourselves uh, on what we do and how we treat and cover women officials. So why did this city, bent on change, turn so quickly on its female leaders? Former Seattle Police Chief Carmen Best is now a King 5 law enforcement analyst. We need to have women leaders. We need to have strong leadership. I, I really feel like uh, in many ways it's sad to see uh, it end this way for so many of us who really worked hard. For me personally, spending you know three decades here, but uh, the progressive city, you know, in some ways still has some growing to do. I walk out my house after people have been here and spray painted our misogynistic uh, and homophobic slurs. I don't think that that, is, that happens to men. I think they're criticized for different things, but they're not called the B word, the C word, et cetera. It, it devolves very rapidly and, and women are treated differently in that way. Durkin reiterates debate is okay, and each person has faced criticism for different reasons. But perhaps it's also time for the Emerald City to look again in the mirror and ask, how does it define progress? In Seattle, Chris Daniels, King 5 News. Anna Marie Kause is the UW's first permanent female president and has helped weather the storm with remote learning. Tacoma, Bellevue, and Everett all have female mayors, and former Tacoma Mayor Marilyn Strickland was just elected to Congress in the 10th District.